I'm Jeannie Gang. I started Studio Gang Architects. I'm the founder of Studio Gang Architects. We're a 50 person uh, firm with our headquarters in Chicago. Architecture is really, a, it's kind of a way of life. It's a way of looking at the world. Um, it makes it possible for someone who likes to make things, someone who likes to design, um, to have an impact on their immediate environment and then you know beyond into a larger environment. Um, it's, it's combining design and creativity with I think problem solving. Um, I, I think one of the major things that um, architecture does is it enables us to address problems in, in our society. The role of the architect is changing and you know we are moving away from um, once being um, the sole artist that would create it, some piece of art, you know, building at a time, um, to a professional that needs to be able to still do that, but also connect a lot of different dots. Um, things come, problems are more complex and they take more different types of expertise. So we end up being um, someone who can interpret things uh, from very vastly different um, levels of expertise in science to cultural and uh, more humanities based knowledge and we need to connect the dots um, and, and be able to um, communicate through design through the built environment. I think what our strategy in the office is um, as we decide to take a project on um, there's, there's a research phase and, and, and during that research phase it, it becomes apparent what could be really exciting and interesting or you know push the boundaries on that project um, and it's usually something that's specific to that project so it's, it's not something that we have in the back of our mind we just want to test it anywhere it, it, it kind of arises out of the project so with the Arcus Center for Social Justice Leadership, it was really that way. Um, we, we, wanted, we were building in a very particular part of the country. Um, there's a very specific kind of wood that grows there. And there was this vernacular tradition that was kind of lost over the years that had been used for barns and structures. And so the challenge really became um, how could we revive that and, and take it into the 21st century um, to revive this kind of building art that was gone, that's a very sustainable way of building but really beautiful. Networking is, is a vital piece of any anyone's work these days and I think we think about it more in terms of how to align ourselves with people who have similar interests but maybe different expertise um, and so for example, um, we've done a lot of work with environmental groups such as the Natural Resource Defense Council, for example, where they have scientists, ecologists, and, um, and policy experts on their side, but no design. And, and we, have, have, we have design and we also connect to landscape um, and the building arts. And so oftentimes we can bring those two things together. I don't think of it as you know a traditional architecture firm um, the way that architecture was practiced you know 50 years ago it's, it's I think of work as and I think the people I work with also feel this that um, you can shape it to what you want it to be and and so we take projects that we are interested in and they turn into more projects you know and, and it, there's a lot of variety in it. And scale is different um, in the typologies that we deal with. Uh, we re recently just started working on an, um, helping the National Aquarium um, think about their conservation strategy. So it might not even be a building sometimes. Um, but, but this, this is really charges us up when we find the thing that we like together. Um, it's just exciting to be able to make it possible to work on those things. 
you really, I mean, it sounds like a cliche, but you really have to follow what you you personally like. And you might not know what that is when you first start out. And so it's good to maybe, the advice would be to sample, you know, sample many different things. Um, and then something's going to resonate and something's going to be making you excited and stay up all night thinking about it. And, and that's when you know you found the right thing for you. Um, what's nice about, I think, what where architectural education should be going and where it is going is that there will be more opportunities to do that sampling. Um, more opportunities to take classes outside of your particular major and, and find out what's going on in, in the buildings next door and, and through doing that it's it almost relates back to your last question about networking. Um, you're going to start to realize that there are synergies um, with your, your own interests.